Hello everybody, it's me, Bo Shevisu, coming to you today with the Fire Beaner. This is, oh, such a cool invention. Now, I myself love the outdoors. I love survival type devices. I myself am actually the inventor of the tactical hair clip. Yes, this is a hair clip multi-tool that fits in your hair like a conventional snap hair clip, but it's for people out there who otherwise might not have a pocket knife on them. Like, let's say you're a woman going to and from yoga class and you need to cut through some packing tape or a zip tie. You can do that now. And so this combines that exact same philosophy of basically something that you're gonna have on your keychain anyway, mainly a carabiner, which I had a carabiner. I'm into climbing mountains and everything, and I've always had it on my keychain. And it's nice to clip on and off things like your belt loop or something. But finally, someone has taken that large piece of metal and they've repurposed it. They basically put a little piercing point right there to cut through some Amazon boxes and some tape. And there's a little tiny, see that little uh, razor piece right there? Kind of looks like a Y. That can cut through like, let's say for example, shoelaces, if in fact you had to cut a shoelace. It's very versatile. So as you can see, I put my keys on here just like that. And I would say that there's about four or five unique elements to this thing that make it essentially a multi-tool, and yet it's lighter than a conventional carabiner. Now, obviously, you're not going to use it as a real carabiner out climbing a mountain. Uh, that's not smart, but you know what? There's the, uh, the little flint piece right there, which, by the way, it does come with two replacement rods right there, uh, which, by the way, also, I couldn't get my iPhone to actually scan that QR code. It wouldn't open up. Maybe it's an iPhone a YouTube app thing, but regardless, feel kind of bad that they've printed probably thousands of these packages with a QR code that doesn't work for people who have iPhones and can't get to the website. But anyway, we're going to actually try this flint right now with uh, a little bit of cotton. So now, as you guys well know, that a flint is only as good as your, your tinder or your kindling. Uh, and if you don't have good kindling, well, you can strike this all day long and it's not going to do a thing. So it, you have to have good kindling. So let's turn it around like so, and we're actually gonna see, just gonna hold it like this in front of you. This is my first impressions. We're gonna experience this together. I don't know if it's even going to light. Whoa, it lit already. Whoa, it did it. Oh, I should have thought ahead and actually had a fire extinguisher somewhere. That could have gone really wrong. That's amazing. Did you see that? Of course you saw that, I was filming. Wow, okay, so there you go, guys. Uh, this is probably one of the coolest devices that I have ever had the, the, the fortune of testing and trying. It's up there with the tactical hair clip because it repurposes something that everybody pretty much has on them anyway. But in this case, it adds like four or five additional elements to it just in case. And that's smart as a pre prepper, as someone who has a, a mentality of always being prepared. That's cool. But it even has a bottle opener on it. That's amazing. Well done, Fire Beater. Well done.